Today is October 28th. It's 1 p.m. It's so like misty fall vibes here and every bone in my body wants to lay in bed all day. But the world needs me. These people need me to work. So I've never had like a trip that every leg is like the same place. And it's a three day trip. Today's day two. And I do St. Louis, LA and then I do LA St. Louis, and then I lay over here again. So random. I'll probably be flying for like six and a half hours total. That's kind of long. I found out that I cannot eat cheese. And I don't know if a breakup has ever hurt as bad as figuring out that I can't eat cheese, but I don't know, I just woke up one day after eating cheese and thought I was gonna die and I keep trying to eat cheese and every time I eat cheese I have problems so no more cheese in my life I had a little snack pack and it has a little cubby of cheese and I'm just looking at it and I can't eat it I'm gonna get ready to fly I'm drinking an oat milk cappuccino I don't know why that's been my new thing as of yesterday <laughs> it's my new thing same thing different day I don't have much left in me. I am so tired. 
tired. <sighs> it's 12.40. I'm in St. Louis again. And I'm just wiped. I get to go home tomorrow. I'm so excited. I figured we could do something special. And I'm going to read you. I'm going to open a random page in this really cool, awesome, sick book. Let's let fate do its thing. Okay, I landed on page 30. There were no red carpets or sparkly moments in those beginning days. There was just a lot of teeth gritting and attitude changing. I had to fight hard to find the joy in all my mess ups and in my mundane. I spent so much of my early 20s trying to control every little thing in my life. My relationships, my future, my dreams, my job. Thinking I needed to have everything figured out. I wanted to know exactly how I was going to get to a place of healthiness and find joy in the midst of everything going on around me. And it drove me nuts to not succeed every day. Failure caused anxiety, depression, stress, and many sleepless nights. But then I'd joyfully discover little pockets of growth that let God's love fill me up and life unfold. Think about your best days for a moment. The ones where you feel that pit in your stomach soften, where your mind is at rest, not fighting to hang on to control or overthinking every last detail. Those days when life is just happening and you don't have to fight to press the brakes and stay in the present. You're simply present. Where do those best days come from? What do they have in common? If you aren't in that place right now, how can you get there again? Take a minute and list out the things you are doing that you're proud of. I bet you can list more than you know. It's probably hard for you just like it's hard for me. I'm so thankful for my time living with my Vietnamese roommates and learning more about the beauty of Asian culture. I'm thankful for all the times I cried at my secret spot and let the Chicago buildings wrap their arms around me. I am overwhelmed in the best way. When I think about the burnt airplane nuts, my first days as a flight attendant in my early 20s, I truly am. I don't regret a single second of it. I do wish I would have loosened my tight grip on trying to control my circumstances though. I want to end this brief glimpse of becoming with that thought. The world tells us what we should be doing and how we should be succeeding before we even know that it's bossing us around. But simply put, to be doing it, whatever that is for you, is enough. You don't have to punish yourself because you are five steps behind when you think you should be ten steps ahead. Right where you are, in this very moment in time, is okay. That doesn't mean we get to be complacent or not prioritize growing, but to be here, doing it all, is reason to celebrate. Loosen your grip on what you think your life is supposed to look like a bit. Trust me, life is so much more beautiful that way. Looking back on those early moments, thinking about all I learned, I can clearly see that I was really doing it. I was really living my life. Those days were shaping the way I would go for a long time to come. All the things I never thought I'd be or do because I never felt good enough or understood enough or loved enough, I've done them. I've been that girl all along. She lived inside of me the whole dang time. Never forget you are doing it. You are living. Even if it looks different from how you thought it would. Thanks for listening to Bedtime Stories with me.